The Shawshank Redemption, IMDb's top-rated movie of all time, almost had an entirely different cast behind those legendary bars. What do you really want to know? After Frank Darabont adapted Stephen King's novella, the script got hot and director Rob Reiner, on fire from Misery and A Few Good Men, offered $3 million to buy it and make it with Tom Cruise as Andy Dufresne and Harrison Ford as Red. Cruise even did a table read for producers. But Darabont turned down the offer and chose to direct himself. In here, he's an important man. In the book, Red is a middle-aged Irishman with graying red hair, so Gene Hackman, Robert Duvall, Paul Newman, Robert Redford and Clint Eastwood were considered. However, Darabont wanted somebody with a godlike voice who could also narrate. I'm God. Sidney Poitier reportedly passed and Morgan Freeman was asked to audition, although he wasn't told for which role until later. Freeman won the job and Darabont kept in this line as a joke. Maybe it's because I'm Irish. For Andy, Tom Hanks was offered the role but passed to make Forrest Gump, for which he won an Oscar. My name is Forrest, Forrest Gump as did Kevin Costner, who was busy working on Waterworld. Charlie Sheen reportedly pleaded for the part, offering to film a test reel and work at an actor's minimum wage. But Darabont went in another direction. He considered some of the top actors at the time, Jeff Bridges, Nicolas Cage, and Johnny Depp, but decided on Tim Robbins, whom Freeman claims he suggested and who won the Golden Globe for his role. I just don't understand what happened in there, that's all. Brad Pitt was attached to the role of Tommy Williams for a short time, but left for the much bigger role leading Interview with a Vampire, and up-and-comer Gil Bellows took over. Just give me that chance. John Favreau has said he read for Fat Ass, but described it as his worst audition ever, and the part went to another relative newcomer, Frank Madrano. I don't belong here! And finally, James Gandolfini was offered the role of Boggs, but passed to do True Romance instead, paving the way for Aliens' Mark Ralston. It's your world, Boggs. The Shawshank Redemption had a modest theatrical bow 25 years ago, but picked up steam during award season and has lived on massively since. Get busy living, or get busy dying.